Hey, and welcome back to Open Reviews. Today, let's talk about Doomseeker. Are you a fan of luck? <laughs> Are you a fan of fast-paced combat, equipables, buffs, debuffs, maybe a little bit more luck <laughs> than Doomseeker uh, might be the game for you? Doomseeker is a game about... Doomseeker is a game about seeking your own doom. You play as a slayer, a dwarven slayer in the Warhammer fantasy universe. And their whole deal is tirelessly searching for a formidable foe worthy enough of defeating them in the throes of battle. And that's who you play as. You play as one of these guys. And they can either be randomly selected, or you can pick who you want to play as. And they all have the same base stats. They have two strength, and they have three health. But they all have different abilities, accommodating for different play styles. One of which, you gain more gold post-battle after defeating an enemy. Another one lets you switch hands with another player. So after you select your character... You're assigned a grudge. And grudges are basically post-game bonus points. There's a bunch of modifiers. There's three enemy types. There's Skaven. There's Green Skin. And Chaos. And the grudge cards, some of them will say, if you have three Skaven in your score pile, you gain Renown. Extra Renown. And that's the basic scoring system of this game. Others will say if you've hoarded a bunch of gold or you've hoarded a bunch of items, you gain renown for that. So everyone is then assigned their die. The game comes with four. You get your two gold. There's also a five gold token, but obviously you need five of these to get the five token. All right. And then everybody's assigned five fate cards. So the active player announces that they're going to fight a specific character. They're going to fight a specific Doom. Let's go back of the card. And they say, I'm going to fight the Night Goblin Fanatics, which has four strength slash health. And he gains two gold if he defeats him. Then all of the other players will play their fate cards, which can really put the screws to the active player. <laughs> you can strengthen the Doom. Uh, you can you can take the gold that they would win in the encounter, or you can help them. You can let them gain strength, or let them still they can draw a fate card even if they lose. So how combat works is as I said. See, he's got four, and your base stat is two. So you take your little die and you roll it. I rolled a three, so that's five. So I defeated that guy, and I'd gain two gold, and then I'd move on over to the item shop. There's lots of stuff in the item shop. There's axes, there's enemy-specific weapons that grant modifiers based upon the enemy type. This one, the Skaven, Skaven Fang Vermin Splitter. When you fight a Skaven Doom, gain an additional plus one strength. But see up here... It costs five gold to purchase, but plus one. So it has the plus one regardless, so you have three. And then if you're fighting Skaven, it'll be plus four. If you are defeated in battle, you gain a, you know, gain, you get a wound token. And if you, that's another thing, that's another little thing about the game. If you roll a one, no matter what, if you roll a one, even if you have, you know, six damage points if you roll a one you lose the fight it's just one of the the luck aspects of the game some battles you will win rune tokens and these actually enable you to re-roll you pay one you, you put it on your character card and you put it back in the pile and you can re-roll your die and that brings us to one of the most interesting aspects of doom seeker the game doesn't end even after you're defeated. After you've been defeated and you still have your rune tokens, you can wager whether another player 
is going to defeat or lose against the doom that they're fighting. And so you would bet a rune token and say, you know, you're going to lose. And if they lose, you get renown. So you can, based upon the grudge card and how you know other players play the game, you can win. Even if you're the first person to die, <laughs> you can win the game because you have your score pile. As I said, when you win, this guy gets put in your score pile, and he's worth a certain number of points. There's level one dooms, two dooms, three dooms, and then epic dooms, and each one has a different point value. If you lose a battle, the guy, the, the doom gets dis completely discarded. No one gets to fight that guy. So there's this whole aspect where you can completely turn the tables around from knowing how to game your grudge card and knowing how to bet based upon who's playing the game, whether they have experience or whether they have, you know, some people just have good rolls. Some people are just good or just good at rolling dice, you know. Some people are bad at rolling dice. Some people just can't get can't get good rolls. It's just just the way it is. So you would you would knowingly bet and try to game uh, the system, and that's what's that's what I think is very interesting about this game. I have never really heard of a game that you can lose but be the winner, if that makes any sense. Doomseeker is very interesting to me. It's one of the first games of its type that I played, so I have a certain, I shouldn't really say nostalgia, because I've only played, the, I first played the game maybe like four months ago. But I enjoyed it very much. The artwork is very nice. The enemies look cool. We have a, a cool-looking Chaos Dragon right here. A Vermin Lord. Skaven. Goblin Spider Riders. I mean, it's some, some pretty sweet stuff. They did a really good job on it. And it's a, it's a fun game. It's very fun, but it's very luck-driven. And that could irritate some people, but it doesn't really irritate me. I find it, it's, it's luck aspect part of the challenge. So with that, we were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it!